guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and here we talk about motherhood, homeschool and life talk. And today I want to bring you something that will help you to organize uh, your school uh, subjects. Just if you're in the same uh, path that I am, uh, I car school with my kid and for some reason my arc hole punch damage is not working. Uh, but I can't complain because it did last me for a while. This is a portable art punch and uh, It's just It works. I use it a lot. I used to hole punch as well. I'm sorry. I have something in my hand. I used to hole punch as well Our lamination sheets laminated sheets and it just didn't hold up to that so I will bring you another idea to keep the stuff together if you're on the go, just like I do. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Hey guys, so today I want to show you what I'm going to do uh, to help me at least figure out things while I decide to purchase another hole punch arc hole punch uh, I use uh, a tool notebook like this one here and I used to have everything for my kid in here all the subjects everything he was going to do was here and that's how I plan everything and it's been working really good until my arc hole punch damage this is a portable one I just have one kid so this was good enough for us uh, but it's time uh, for me to do something while I can figure out how to uh, purchase another one. They're not that uh, Cheap, they're pretty expensive, especially if you want one that will last you long uh, so if somebody's out there and You want me to review your tool arc hole punch that will be just fine if you send me one um, but I it's been working very good this for me that's not the reason why I'm doing this I am doing this because our arc hole punch uh, damage and I need to create something that will work for us what I was doing is I put all the subjects in here he has reading here he has writing in here and I liked it because the pockets the divisions let me just show you the first one here has a pocket so everything he was going to do during that week for that certain subject, I just put in the front and when he was done, I'll just put it back here. Or uh, I put something that couldn't go on the pocket in here for him to review, just like I have the all about reading sheets in here. So he could find it here. He knows already that he can search for his subjects in here, I had them color coded for him. If you notice in here, this is uh, I had reading in blue, writing in purple, uh, history. I had orange for history, science is green, and and that's how it goes for the rest of the side. Art in here as well. So what I wanted to create is something where he has everything. We didn't have to carry all the books uh, especially if you are in your car you don't want to carry everything there uh, at least for me I think that is very uncomfortable that way so I just wanted to create something where he had everything in place in just one spot okay so that's not working for right now until I purchase another one so I'm just gonna put it right there <laughs> and uh, I have here I purchased actually I have these for quite a while I purchased these folders at Walmart they are pen gear folders what I like about them if they have to put the papers and keep them together as well as pockets in here they can help you to put any other sheet that you have that you want to have there or index cards or whatever you want to put in there uh, that will be helpful for you to keep it together okay and I purchase as well these sheet protectors as well pen gear name brand this is uh, a good it's a good inexpensive name brand and I like it uh, cheap protectors I like them so I bought this at Walmart too Wally World 
Then I purchased as well these dividers. These are eight dividers. And what I like about them is, is that they have pockets as well. And they fit very well in this uh, type of folder that I have in here. And I will show you how I will do everything. But it goes very well with this type of folder. I am going to use as well these velcro dots i purchased these ones at dollar tree because they cost one dollar you cannot beat one dollar are you kidding me why are you going to pay three dollars for them when you can pay just one and i use these for our all about reading activity sheets usually what i do is i cut the activity i prepare everything and then i put this velcro dots to some of the activities just because first of all you can keep them together that way second of all they stay organized and third of all and should be the first one because he can reuse the activity again if let's say he didn't understand something uh, he can reuse that activity i don't have to purchase another book for him to review that activity and, and you can still review the activity even if you actually glue the activities just as they uh, suggest you to do I don't like to do that because I feel like it's not the same just to review by looking than by actually having that a step of him moving the 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 activities of him actually having that sensory and that um, and that multi-sensory and everything together is the visual is the auditory is the multi-sensory and and the fact that he can move everything is something that it works in his brain it triggers his brain and I like that so I have ones that I use already and I'm going to, I'm going to keep using these ones while I open these ones in here but I purchased these at Dollar Tree they do have it at Wally World they do have it at Walmart and um, they cost a little bit more but these are uh, Dollar Tree I have used them before and they work very well so I'm going to keep using those uh, these ones for for it okay so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put uh, some of the folders here and I'm going to just organize everything as I had in the previous uh, this bound binder, uh, this bound notebook. And I'm going to put as well our cheats for all about reading, the one he's going to be using. And that's something that I, this is the reason why I wanted to create it this way. Because he will have everything at once. He will have history, math, science, uh, grammar, just thinking what subjects are grammar and everything will be in just one place besides me carrying everything uh, in a backpack like we were doing before when our uh, arc hole punch damage we carry all the books in the backpack and it was it's not that comfortable as it is you just carrying everything in one place maybe you can carry a little uh, a little pocket for pencils or anything like that but at least you're not carrying all that stuff together uh, all those books together in a backpack and, which is heavy uh, it's uncomfortable it takes a lot of space uh, compared to just carrying everything in one place and have it all uh, have it at least organized I like to have everything organized I know that with homeschool you can not expect to you cannot expect everything to be organized at all, at, at, at all times. Uh, you have to be realistic. Homeschooling sometimes is disorganized because you're having fun, because you're creating uh, activities that they were not being able to create at, at school because they have to have, to, they have to follow certain programs, uh, and that's something that. I do enjoy it about homeschool we create our own system in here we uh, look for the stuff that are more uh, comfortable for us and that are going to help us more uh, with our subjects and, and having fun what we are learning which is what we want in here okay 
to facilitate our lives a little bit. So I'm just going to start doing this and I'm going to have you guys watching.
Okay guys, so this is how it end up looking. Uh, if you notice, it just takes the tabs out, but everything fits very well in it. And it's comfortable, it's flexible. He are, He's going to find everything he needs in here. Here I have already some of what we are going to do for reading. Fine as well uh, if it's a spelling. So I create a tab for language arts and then I put writing. And I know language art is all together. It's writing, spelling, penmanship, and all of that. But I wanted to create it this way because I have uh, where it says language art in our uh, this binder is uh, I usually put spelling, reading, uh, and then for writing I put writing with this, which is our program and uh, that we're using. I use our uh, logic of English for penmanship, and then we use grammar. So that's what he's going to encounter when he goes to the tab for writing. And for language arts, will be reading, spelling, and all that, all that jazz, okay? So here I have the reading, and for reading, for the activities, this is what I do with the Velcros. So what I do is I put Velcros, and I cut the activity, and I just, if he doesn't understand something, or he wants to do the activity because he likes it, or... Uh, I think that he needs more help in that area so we need to review the activity he just can reuse it and I, it will stay even if you want to sell your uh, program at the end and let's say you want to sell the program because you want to buy another one it is better to it looks better and I think they will pay you more if you have a presentable and and everything looks uh, in good shape uh, than if you have something that is uh, already used that you consume already in this way you can reuse the activity over and over if you have a few kids I think this is a good idea because you're going to review you can just reuse the activity you don't have to purchase another book some people say well I spent a lot with the laminating sheets that depends there's uh, a name brands that are very inexpensive and it works very well with any type of laminator machine okay laminating machine so I just put it back there and actually it's a good way to keep it organized as well because if you notice they just stay there I don't have to have a baggie or anything that's usually what I did with our disbound uh, notebook I have a video uh, where I show how we use it in the video I say inbound I have no idea why I said that but it's a Dixmount notebook is from the name brand tool and that's what we were using before before I have my arc hope on damage but we did exactly the same thing I did exactly the same thing I usually kept these the activities for all about reading like this because I can reuse them again and they will keep uh, organized and in place the entire time some acti with some activities you cannot do this so what I did was either I keep them in the pockets or I purchased those Ziploc uh, baggies and I just put them in there and it, it, it stays in place okay and here I have some uh, protector protecting sheets that I keep in here just in case he needs some activity or something that cannot be uh, used in this type of way and he can use it you can, he can use the protecting sheets and they don't get damaged neither or if he has a lot of uh, activities in here so in here what he will do is here is what he needs to do and in here is when he has it done we will put it back here in this way we know what we what is being done and what is not the same for writing so in here will be writing penmanship grammar okay in this tab here and I put the protector uh, protecting sheets just because for grammar I have some poems uh, that they have to memorize and what I do is I just take the paper out from the binder that I use from my teacher binder and I just put it in here in that way or I can make a copy for him to have it just in here for when we need to uh, read them and memorize and use them. The same I did with history, geography and math and we did the same for Spanish which is this tab here and for arts. So everything uh, we're going to use that is uh, in a paper, in a sheet, uh, he's going to find in here. And this is what we're going to take for our car schooling. So I do 
half of the time that we school is while I'm going to, uh, to work, while I'm at work and uh, I have intermittent hours, I have uh, long periods of break and that's where I take advantage and homeschool my kid. So I just want to let you know that it's not impossible. If you're working, there's ways where you can just adjust. Even if you work uh, full time, you still can homeschool your kid. If you cannot do it during the uh, week, you can do it during the weekend. And I see a lot of moms that they have full time jobs and still they homeschool during the weekends and it goes very well for them. Remember that you don't need as much hours when you homeschool than compared to when you go to a, a public school because of the transitions, you waste a lot of time. Okay, so I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this. I hope this is helpful. See you again. Bye-bye.